breaking news. A little girl shot in a drive-by. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Mike Nardis has the night off. While that little girl was being whisked away to Children's Hospital, the city manager took to the streets with a warning for criminals saying he's had it with the violence. Emily Wood is at the scene right now with tonight's message. Emily. Cherie, City Manager Harry Black very agitated over tonight's situation. Cincinnati police tell me that the girl is approximately four years old. She was rushed to Cincinnati Children's Hospital where she is currently in serious condition. Police tell me she was with a group of about 20 to 30 people standing in front of an apartment building on Ridgeway Avenue here in Avondale around 8.15 tonight. Witnesses tell police a beige four-door sedan rolled up and the passenger started shooting at the crowd, hitting the four-year-old girl. Police have not said where the child was shot, but say she was an innocent bystander. Police Chief Jeffrey Blackwell and City Manager Harry Black both out here tonight, very disappointed and frustrated with this type of crime. We've got uh, a deadbeat landlord that runs a building, and we've got to deal with that, and we will deal with it. Okay, so if the landlord is listening to me tonight, we're coming after you tomorrow, regardless of what the legal implications and consequences might be. We're coming after you. In terms of the individuals that perpetrated this crime tonight out here, we're coming after you too. We will continue to protect and embrace the tenants of the collaborative agreement, but when you drive by a scene and just randomly shoot at a crowd, we have a problem with that. We know who you are, we know where you are, and we're going to come and we're going to get you. City Manager Harry Black very angry and ready to take action tonight. Police say a second shooting was also reported tonight a block away from this scene here at Reading and Ridgeway. They say there were no reported injuries in that shooting, but they do believe the two are related. Reporting live tonight in Avondale, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5.